Welcome back to Minecraft Hardcore, guys. Look at this. We have um, the next step to perfect organization is done. We can now put stuff in our item frames that we made from sticks and leather, by the way. And now we can reorganize all the stuff. Mm, let me get that done. And we're done. Some spots are still open, waiting to be filled with, for example, the new wood types that I want to find. We have wood and tools and even food over here, the planty chest over here, where we can actually grab the sugar cane from, because that is the next thing we are going to need. Here is dirt and stuff. This one is supposed to be for sand. All the stone and cobble, all the different sorts of different stones, uh, including the deep slate that I have to get up here. And all the important minerals and all the other stuff like clay and whatnot. Oh, and we actually need the obsidian. Wonderful. Now, this is way more organized and I feel way better. <laughs> and actually, we can from this chest. This is the, well, I suppose mob drop chest would be uh, appropriate. Um, we are going to grab the leather. And now we craft paper, we craft at least one book. No, actually we can craft a lot of books because we need so many. Oh, we still need more. Dang it. Or do we still need more? Well, doesn't, doesn't hurt in any case. We also need wood. Thankfully, we have a lot of wood. Even though we have just one type of wood and I actually have to farm all the other kinds. Oh god! Guys, that will be the thing for today. Um, we also need two diamonds, I think. Mm, there it is, the enchanting table. The enchanting table will go over here. I dug out a little uh, cavey thing. This is temporary. This is definitely not what we will um, stick with, as we will, I think, relatively soon be building our, our main base. And then the enchanting room will move over there. This is just temporary for now. Now, um, let me try to explain the crafting uh, enchanting system to you. To those who haven't um, yet had the chance to, to take a look. We actually first of need a few bookshelves. And we need lapis lazuli. Let's just grab these blocks and do this. And I'm also going to take a few diamonds with me. Now, we are just going to put our chest here for hmm, future, future stuff that we need to store here. This enchanting table. If you right click in it and you try to enchant something right off the bat. You can see here the enchanting levels, enchanting level 1, enchanting level 2, and 3. Those offer different randomized enchantments. And if you put one lapis lazuli, you get level 1. This is the lowest tier. And if you get three lapis lazuli in there, you get this one. This is actually not what we want, though. Because this is still a relatively low level enchantment. You upgrade your enchanting table by placing bookshelves around it up to a certain number that equals the maximum effect. We now have, this is level 8, the number in the, does that represent level 8? It's still not the max level. I just wanted to show you how things improve once you place bookshelves around it. Let's see. Ah, now it's efficiency 2 and the enchanting level is up to level 18. Now we place a few more and hopefully get up to the maximum of level 30. Yes, that is actually what we want. Efficiency 4, that seems actually good. I hope there's an additional one there. Just efficiency 4. Dang it, that's not good. Because occasionally you get additional enchantments randomly on your items. Now, because we have 44 levels, we will actually do something. First of all, we will make another diamond pickaxe. We'll also make diamond boots, a chest plate, 
And we will grab all the other diamonds. <laughs> we'll probably not be able to use all of the good stuff, but I want to get as far as I possibly can. And I actually want a few more bookshelves just for the looks. And we can afford it, actually. Boop. Maybe like this. For the moment. Um... We can also use an enchanted sword. That is definitely a good thing to have. And maybe pants. Okay, let's see how far we get with this. The other pickaxe. Oh, it has unbreaking on it. That is wonderful. Because we can then actually combine the two. I will show you how to do that in a moment. Oh, and efficiency three. This is garbage. <laughs> this is actually garbage. Um. Okay, we will still take it. Unbreaking on a sword, mm, not that great. Now, the effects, the enchanting effects, are randomized. So, you can reset them by enchanting something else. For diamond boots, I want something very specific. I want feather falling. Ah, which I don't think we will get with this one. This has thorns that I don't want. Protection 4. That is actually good. That is really great. This one I will take. Unbreaking makes the item deteriorate slower. And protection um, gives you additional armor, I believe. It just reduces damage from incoming hits. Now, sharpness 3, that is okay. Let's deposit our 3 lapis lazuli again. Blast protection. Oh, that is actually another really good one. Because blast protection, I'm going to take this. Oh, that's a good one. Blast protection for depth strider that makes us faster underwater, I believe, and unbreaking. That is good. Blast protection um, reduces damage from stuff like creepers or dynamite. And that is a lifesaver, I believe, in hardcore. Now, let's see. Looting 2. That is really good. And I will definitely take that. That is okay. It's a beginner sir sword, but looting too that multiplies our um, the loot we get from mobs. Knockback knocks them back, and sharpness deals more damage. And maybe we can something can get something fancy on our chest. Hmm, thorns. I don't know. I don't know if I want thorns. Hmm, maybe we can craft an axe, because we will soon have to cut down a lot of wood. Only unbreaking. Ah, uh, god dang it. <laughs> ah, well then, still, still, this is a huge upgrade. Huge upgrade. I'm going to store all those bits and bobs in here. And we are going to craft an anvil, because that is what is needed to combine two items. Now first, we need to craft three iron blocks from nine iron ingots. One, two, three. Boom. And from that, we can now craft an anvil. 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 And I think here is a good spot. Boom. Loudest noise ever. Now we can combine this pickaxe and this pickaxe. And the effects combine. Now, if the second pickaxe had efficiency 4, those two would combine to efficiency 5, which would have been nice, nice to have, but... Well, beggars can be choosers, so we are going to take that. Now, let's throw some meat on the grill. And while that is doing its thing, I want to do something else. Oh, we might actually be out of sugar cane, dang it. <laughs> <laughs> I needed more paper. What am I doing? Do we have more paper? We have a little bit of paper? Okay. We have more paper in here? No, we have books. <laughs> I wasn't thinking. Meow. Bit meow to you too. Actually, guys, um, before I forget, I made a little stone wall thingy around the wheat field and I set up this fence that I was talking about for a few episodes. Nothing fancy. <laughs> um, <laughs> just a little um, log wall with, with fences on top. 
And before it gets dark, I want just enough sugar cane. Come on. Ooh. Getting dark. Still spooky. Even spookier because I tend to sleep every night away. Oh, the meat is ready. Hello, meat. How are you doing, meat? Oh, ow, 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 ow. Don't grill yourself. Now, this is such a neat way to get food done without actually having to use coal. Coal being an endless resource, at least, at least in my in my thinking, in my um, in my brainy thing. <laughs> now we need paper. No, first of all, we need a cartographer table. That is what I originally wanted to do, because I think it's about time that we map out our world, or at least a few bits and bobs of our world. We. Need a few compasses to create maps. Those maps we can make bigger. Wait, last pieces of meat. Boop. Running around like a, head, like a headless chicken, I'm very sorry. One passes. We have our one compass stored somewhere in here. Maybe with the tools, yes. This one stays. And I want to create maps. An empty map is created by a compass and paper surrounding it. Now, we want... Hmm, let's say... Can actually make seven maps. Might be a little bit too much. As we grab the final piece of meat, let's open one map. By right-clicking this empty map, it is assigned to the spot you're currently standing on. So don't right-click on many maps, just on the one. Now here we can see the mountain and out of there the bridge and the forest there. Okay, that's good. Now if we want to make the map bigger in size, we put the map on top and paper in the bottom. We get this map out of here. That's a little bit bigger. That is actually looking good. Now, this is on a scale at one, two, two, yes. I actually want to see if I can make it even more, even bigger. We can still kind of see the bridge. That's what I'm going for. This is the size of map that I want. Now, let me see. This one we can actually go and fill in. That's my plan. Can we fill in another map? Probably not. Which means we will have to grab the cartographer table and take it with us. That's actually fine. Oh, and before I forget, I want to breed the doggies, because I want to take a few doggies with me. You come with me. We have a few now. And we can use them to get a little bit um, of mob slaying action on the way. Hey! Do you not want to breed? Maybe you want to breed? Come here. Yes, good boy. Yes, that's wonderful. We're leaving the babies here and just take two doggies with us. Now, we need this map and a hot bar. And hmm, which direction are we going first? Guys, you're protecting me, okay? You! Oh no, you two. You to stay here, you're too tiny. You are too tiny to come with me. Oh, danger. You, you're still too tiny. What are you doing? Get over here. Put your butt down. Okay, good boy. I'd say we start by heading north and then do a circle to the right. And actually, as we are here, I will take a bit of wool with me. Because I have an idea. Just have an idea. Which I might be able to explain if we get to the village already on this map. Hello. Hi. Can I shear you? No. But I can shear you. 
Hey guys. How is life? Uh. Huh. Mm. Those are beet seeds. I like that. Uh. I like that a lot. Wheat. Hmm. Uh. I do not want your wheat, sir. Um. Uh. Now. I believe that you can craft banners which you can place at, let's say, a village. And on your map, you can mark that. Yes, by right clicking on the thingy. Now you can actually name this and color it so you have um, different map markers. But I don't have an anvil to rename it. So that's that's it for the moment. But I just wanted to try it. I believe sooner or later we will map out a huge area around our base and properly um, mark all the important spots. Ooh, and the spooky mesa. I love this biome. This is so... Uh, it's kind of dangerous because it always has these really dark um, areas where... All sorts of nastiness can spawn. But, well, we have our doggies now. I feel a little bit safer. Let's swim up here. Ooh. Oh, also on hardcore. <laughs> we have to be careful where we step because fall damage can definitely kill us. And I want at least one... This is acacia wood, and I want one sapling from which we can regrow more acacia wood should we need it. I don't need it right now, but I want to have it. Ooh, there is more ink bags. Mm -hmm. Come on, give me. Do I have one? Yes, I have one. Okay, perfect. Now, this is the doggy zone, I believe. Mm-hmm. Around here was the place where you came from. You big old noodles. Now we are going to complete this map and start the next one. And I hope that during this process of mapping out the area, we will maybe stumble upon a darkwood forest. Because I really want dark wood. Dark wood and spruce wood would be the main blocks for the build that I have planned. And I actually want to get going on that. Oh, hello! <laughs> oh, and I cannot run because I'm hungry. Hungry! Ooh, a ravine. That's nice to know. Somewhere underneath um, must be this, this ginormous ravine network that we uncovered. Hello. Hello. Thank you. Okay, this map is successfully completed. And we are down here on the bottom left. And we should start another map. We're going to store this one. We're going to open this one. Is it the correct one? Yes! It has the ravine on it. Wonderful! And we are, wait, scaling it. Uh, okay, we need to do this, to expand this map two times. Correct? Yes! Nice! Whoa, that's another huge mountain biome. Look at this, this is really big. Also with really high mountains over there. This is to the southeast, uh, no, southwest of our base. Over there is the bridge. This is the flower forest. Over there is the village. And we are going west. And I wonder what is on the other side of this mountain. Looks like there is more mountain. <gasps> Backwood! I can smell dark wood over there. Oh, oh, that is glorious. That is just wonderful. Exactly what we needed. 
and not that far away. <laughs> oh, that is so good. That means that next episode we can definitely begin Wow, building the base. That is a huge dark wood. Wow. Oh, that is awesome. That's really good. Okay, I'm going to cut a few of those trees so we can um, bring mm, a few saplings back home. And I have eight saplings. That should be good. That should be good. And we are on another part of the map. Hmm. I would actually like to keep exploring for a little bit. At least uh, fill up... Hmm. Maybe we can just fill up six maps adjacent to each other. Oh, sunflowers. You can never have enough sunflowers, I guess. Don't necessarily need a string. Ooh. Sunflowers. Great. Okay, I found my way back on the mountain. It was a little bit difficult to get up. Hello, goat. I saw something really creepy. Ooh, this here. This is one of those spots. Caves? You don't want to go down there. It's dark down there. There's nasty stuff down there. Not good for you. Not good for your health. And, ooh! Nice! That is one of those abandoned portals. Well, I'm actually not completely sure how those things are named, but it's a portal and it's abandoned. So it's an abandoned portal. And they sometimes hold ooh, treasure. Sometimes they even have a chest with treasure. Yes. Hi. Um, obsidian. Uh, well, <laughs> well, that's not that great. Careful, careful. Ow, careful. Jump attack! Oh no, sorry, that wasn't was I. No! I'm sorry! I didn't mean to. I didn't mean to. Nobody saw that. Nobody saw that. Who was the dog, not me? Oopsie. And we are home. Okay, we are just here to unclutter our inventory. And now we are doing exactly the parkour that a potential creeper or zombard would have to do to get over here. Oh, and the doggy is hurt. Might have to heal him up again. Okay, what else do we do? We leave this here and we leave that here and we also leave this here. We can plant the trees that we've gotten. Hmm. We need to make as much room as we can. Now you grow here and you grow there. Okay, let's see. What is it with those maps? This one is not completed at the top. That is not a problem, I believe. This one is completed and I'd say we'll be going for this direction first, for north. Oh no, what am I doing? We actually have to cross the border of this map first and then open up the new map. Okay. 